Okay, so now we'll talk about percentile. Now, percentiles are measures of location denoted P1, P2, all the way up to P99, which divide a, a set of data into 100 groups with about 1% of the values being in each of the groups. Now, for example, the value that we would call P75 is the data value that is greater than 75% of the data. So the P75 is the data value that is greater, that separates basically the bottom 75% from the top 75%. So this is larger than 75% of the data. So if you remember when you were taking your SATs or your ACTs, they gave you a percentile. The percentile of your SAT or ACT score was more telling than the actual score itself because it told you your position amongst all the students that had taken that test that year. So for instance, if you were in the 75th percentile when you took the SAT, it means of all the students that took the SAT in that year, you scored higher than 75%, which means the same thing as you scored lower than 25%, but uh, I want to be optimist here. <laughs> anyway, um, there's some notation that I want to look at before we get in depth into this percentile uh, definition. So here are some notational things. The first thing is something we should already be familiar with. N is basically the total number of data values or the sample size. Total number of data values. Okay, now after N, we want to look at K. And K denotes the percentile in question. So K is the percentile that we're using. So, for instance, in the previous example, the P75, um, K would be the number 75. Okay, so K is the percentile being used. And the other thing is L, and L is a kind of a tricky one. L is called the locator. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the order statistics, the order statistics, and basically, uh, X with an L or the number L in the parentheses down here, XL is going to be equal to the Lth order statistic. So it's the Lth value in the sorted data list. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sort your data list in ascending order. And once you've sorted it in ascending order, the elf order statistic is going to be the elf value in that ordered list. All right. And let me see. I think that's all the notation we're going to have to look at. So let's go ahead and actually talk about percentile with an actual data set. So here we have the data set that we've been looking at, or one of the data sets we've been looking at, and it is the point outputs for Kevin Durant in the month of January. Now, these data values up here are XIs. So this would be X1, no subscript. This would be X2, and X3, and X4, and it continues in this fashion. And I think the last data value up here would be X... 16. So when there are no parentheses around the subscript, we're just talking about the raw data values, the raw data values. Notice this list is not in any particular order of magnitude. Um, the numbers get higher and lower as you go along because this is representing chronological order. This was Kevin Durant's first game in the month of January, his second game in the month of January, his third game in the month of January, and this was the 16th and last game that he played in the month of January. So there is a chronological order to that original list, but that's not the order that we want. We want this to be put into the order of increasing magnitude of the number. So we have the first this is a set of order statistics. The first order statistic, which is X, it still has a subscript of 1, but that 1 is in parentheses. And that's the number 20 here. Number 20 is X1. It's the first 
data value in our ordered list. And it goes on in that fashion. X2 would be the next data value, which would be 22. And X3 would be the next data value. And this would continue all the way up to X with a per parenthetical 16, a 16 in parentheses, which is the largest data value. So here, X1, X1 is actually the minimum value, the smallest data value, or the least number of points Kevin Durant scored in the month of January. And X16, the order, the 16th order statistic is 52, the highest number of points he scored in the month of January. And this number here is what we referred to in the last slide as the number L. So L tells you how large that value is in relation to all the other values in the data set. So if L is equal to 1, it's the smallest value because it's the first value in the ordered list. If L is equal to 2, it's the next largest value in the sorted list. So the value L tells you what position the data point is in the list as, uh, as an order statistic. All right, so let's go ahead and try to find a percentile for one of these data values. Let's try to find what percentile one of these data values is. So we don't actually need the original list anymore. All we really need now is this list of order statistics. Oops, and it disappeared. So all we really need is a list of order statistics when we're dealing with percentile. So to calculate percentile, you first have to put your data set in ascending order. Okay, the next thing we want to do, let's take a look at one of these values and calculate the percentile of that value. Let's randomly choose a value. Let's choose this value right here, the value 32. In order to find out the percentile value of 32, the percentile of 32 is equal to, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to find out how many numbers there are in this list smaller than 72 or smaller than 32. Did I say 72? Smaller than 32. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 values smaller than 32, which means that 32 is actually the order statistic x9. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 32 is actually our ninth order statistic. So what we want to do is we want to look at the number of order statistics that are less than 32, which would be eight of them, since 32 is the ninth one. And we want to divide that by n, which is a total number of data values, which in our case is 16. So we're going to divide by 16. And we're going to get, oops, before, we also want this to be a percentage because we call it a percentile. So after we do that division, we actually also want to multiply by 100% so we can write it as a percentage. And it turns out that this is actually 8 out of 16 times 100 gives me the 50th percentile, 50%. So the number 32 is larger than 50% of the values in this data set, which makes that actually the 50th percentile. So the 50th percentile for this data set, P50, is the number 32. And that's how you calculate the percentile value of a particular data point. All right, now let's go ahead and do it for one other data value, just so we can have one other uh, example. All right, so let's get rid of all this. Let's do the same thing for uh, the number 35 here. So once again, we're going to look at the number of data values uh, that are less than 25, or less than 35, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 values that are less than 35, which means 35 is actually 
the twelfth order statistic. So we're looking at the twelfth order statistic and trying to find out what its percentile value is. Well, since there are eleven values less than thirty-five and there are sixteen total values, if I take this fraction and multiply it by one hundred percent, I'll get K, which is the percentile value of the number 35. So for 35, let's see what this gives us. We have 11 divided by 16, which yields oops, 11 divided by 16, which yields for us 0.6875. And we're going to round that up. We're going to round that to approximately 69% and that tells me that the value 35 which is the 12th order statistic which is the number 35 is actually also equal to the 69th percentile so all these things are true 35 is the data value in the ordered list it's equal to the 12th order statistic because it's the 12th value in an ordered list of ascending order, but it's also the 69th percentile, the 69th percentile, meaning the number 35 is larger than 65% of the other values in this data set. Okay, so that is how you calculate the percentile value for a particular data point. Now let's go back in the other direction. Let's go back in the other direction. Let's say we actually want to find a particular percentile. Instead of looking at a data value and finding out what percentile it is, let's say we actually want to find a certain percentile in this data set. Let's say, for instance, I want to find the value that is P25. Let's say I want to find the 25th percentile for this data set. Well, what I want to do there is I want to take the value of n, which is equal to 16, and I want to find out what 25% of n is. Basically, I'm looking at this k, this value of k, and multiplying it by n. So that's the first step. We're going to take k as a decimal, and we're going to multiply k by the value of n. So that's the first thing we want to do. We want to take the 25, multiply it by n, and divide that answer by 100 so that we can get an actual value. So k is 25, n is 16, and we're dividing that by 100. Let's see what value we get there. Actually, this is how we're going to calculate L, which order statistic we need to uh, to find to give us give ourselves that percentile. So this is 25 times 16, and then we're going to divide that by 100. So it turns out we get a whole number, and that whole number is 4. Now, it, whenever you get a whole number for L, it's not quite as simple as going to the Lth data point. If you get a whole number like L, what you want to do is actually you want to take XL, which is the elf order statistic, and add it to XL plus 1, which is the next order statistic in order. Oops. XL plus 1. So that's XL plus 1. And you want to basically add those two together and divide by 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the fourth data point in our ordered list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 26. And the next one, which is L, uh, the fifth order statistic, 26 also, we're going to add them together and divide by 2. It turns out that this is actually just equal to 26. So it is the 25th percentile. The 25th percentile of this data set is the number 26. So 26 is a number that separates the bottom 25% of the data from the top 75% of the data. So right here, if you look here, we have four data values back here, 
and up here we have 12 data values. So 26 is indeed the number that separates the bottom 25% from the top 75%. So 26 is indeed the 25th percentile. Okay, let's calculate another percentile. Let's calculate another one. All right, now let's say I don't want to calculate the 25th percentile, but instead I want to calculate, let's say, the, uh, I don't know, the 80th percentile. The 80th percentile. Or for good measure, let's say the 85th percentile. Let's say I want to calculate the 85th percentile. Let's say K is equal to 85. We want to find P. 85. We want to find the 85th percentile. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate L, the locator. Well, the locator is going to be uh, K, which is 85, times N, which is 16 again, divided by 100. This is how we're always going to calculate L. L is always going to equal K times N over 100. So, Let's do the calculation for L. So let's K is 85 times N is 16. And we're going to divide that by 100. So in this case, we get 13.6. Now, this is different than the last problem. In the last problem, we actually got a whole number when we calculated L. And anytime you get a whole number, you're going to have to average the Lth order statistic with the, with the L plus one order statistic, which is what we did on the last problem. But in this problem, whenever you get a um, decimal number for L, what you want to do is you want to round it up. And you always round up to the next a whole number, which in this case is 14, and this is actually much easier than the last case because that means that the 85th percentile is actually equal to the 14th order statistic. So once you do that rounding, that is actually the number that gives you the correct percentile. So all we need to do is find the 14th order statistic, the 14th value in this ordered list. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 41 is the value of our 85th percentile. So the 85th percentile is the number 41. So 41 is not only the 14th order statistic, but it's also the 85th percentile, which separates the bottom 85% of the data from the top 15% of the data. So that's how we're going to calculate percentiles.